I'll come out here and talk. Maybe you can hear me while that compressor's running. I don't know how many of all have ever heard of Fred Eaglesmith. He's a Canadian singer. And uh, he's got a couple of songs. He's got one called, That's ah, a Mighty Big Car. It's about, I think it's about Cadillac, because he mentions Hank Williams. And Hank Williams had one, and Elvis did too. And he says, uh, he's got a line in there that says, uh, it don't look like money, it looks like the bank. Uh, it's a mighty big car. He's got another call so song called, it's got a big, it's got a bench seat, baby. And that song says, it's got a bench seat, baby, so you don't have to sit way over there. Man, that's a mighty big car. And she's got a bench seat, baby. So, all right. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'm gonna get her down from there and get her out of here and I'm gonna go in the house and clean up. I know I ain't really done nothing to speak of today, but I'm gonna get cleaned up, get ready to go out for dinner with my little bit later. Even though I didn't do anything, I learned a little bit by uh, getting it up in there and having a look at it. So I know what I want to do. I'll order them parts. Have them by next week. And then I can do a front lug nut swap. While I'm at it, I can do a wheel swap. And uh, I don't know, while I got while I'm in there, I might pop the front hubs off, have a look at the brakes, decide if I want to put that on my list of things to do. Pull a bunch of this junk up under here. With my air hose. Yeah, I need a wider, <laughs> I need a wider garage here. That's all there is to it. I suppose if I took out all of this stuff, I'd have a wider garage. Yeah, but it's hard to find a better place to put your welder than right on top of the concrete. And all my handy tools are right there, so I don't know. I think my days of having a bigger garage, or my dreams of a bigger garage are probably just that. They're just dreams. I'm gonna have to live with what I got, and I'm okay with that, because I got more than most folks. I sure do. And I got my life. I was talking to 63 Impaler. He done had a big heart attack. I'm glad he lived, you know. Dead I had one, and he's been dead now for He's figuring it out this morning. Three years, been dead since 14. So bless his heart. I'm glad 63 Impala was able to drive himself to the hospital before he decided to croak over. He's a good boy. We don't want to lose him. I'm just saying. All right, we'll get this thing out of here.